tell you, I'm that's a writer right now. <laughs> she know how to write a song. What's up, people? How's it going? It's your boy Isaiah, and we are back with another mother effing video. And for today, we all for today, we're going to be reacting to Thames. You know, the Afrobeat goddess, Afrobeat queen, hailing from Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? She's a cancer baby. Didn't know that until I looked it up. But we're gonna be reacting to her EP for Broken Ears. And uh, this is definitely an album. Let me just tell you what she said. On her debut, Nigerian singer Thames meditates on love, life, relationships, and weaves subtle melodies with airy R&B, which she, she definitely does that. Production in a cool yet refined manner. Wrapping emotions in her arresting vocals, she ponders escapism on, on free mind and explores newfound freedom from a love affair on the tropical sound of damages. Mm. Love affair, baby. You know what I'm saying? So this is, like, if you don't know who Thames is, you probably listen to her on um, the WizKid song, you know, Essence. And then, you know, the remix with, you know, Justin Bieber, you know, so if you don't know who Thames is, get into her, her EP, dope. She has a new EP out too, which is pretty dope too. But this one right here, if you're going through something, if you're feeling the type of way, you want to find your voice, you want to find your freedom, going through something, like I said before, this is an album you need to listen to. And it's crazy because I like her raspy voice, which someone, I think it was like her choir teacher, taught her, told her to sing with her real voice, which I think she was a little bit intimidated by because she didn't think like she would, you know, do too well. But it serves to be doing her very well. Um, you know, she likes um, Beyonce, of course, are all artists do. And um, I like how before she even got into like music for real, for real, she went to school did economics and like marketing and stuff and then worked in the office and then said I'm gonna do music full time and she learned how to do her hit song <laughs> from <laughs> being on YouTube. Let me tell y'all something. YouTube does wonders. It taught me a lot too. So if you wanna ever learn how to do something, YouTube is your answer. Look at Thames. Now Thames real name, I'm gonna just put it on the screen because I don't know how to enunciate that. I'm not from that country. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. But let's get into the seven track EP. The first song is in Interference is where she basically finds her voice and she finds like who she is and how like, you know, she's going to be a problem. Um, in, in the lyrics she talks about like, if you thought I was disturbed before, baby boy, I'm going to disturb you now. So basically, you know, she's talking, she's, she's remembering the past and, you know, talking about it and saying, you know, she, she's talking about the past, talking about, you know, a past lover and talking about like her, like finding her her strength and saying like well you know what you you disturbed me now i'm gonna disturb you with this confidence that i did i lost and now that i've gained it i'm about to be a problem you know what i'm saying it's interesting how she pairs that song up because it's like knowing like the patriarchy in nigeria women are often i i would assume that are not they're basically seen not heard and so for her to you know go and stand up for herself and it, it would probably defy you know the culture she's stepping up for women's rights and women to have the freedom to speak and speak up for themselves so you know say i like that like, you know what i'm saying like when you hear that voice you be like oh who is this are you like i hear it like i'm saying like you go somewhere you hear you hear the voice you're like who's this raspy voice singing like this over this r&b but also giving like the afrobeat vibe Hold up. Who is she? Gotta know her. All right now. Would you ride my bike? Cause I, and I make you be the one. In the song, she's talking about like iced tea. You know, she's making iced tea with lemons and things like that. But she's also talking about like, you know, owning who you are. And like being being who you are, owning who you are, and like you know you're gonna face criticism, and you're like I like I'm built for this, all right? Like I see y'all paying attention to me, and I see y'all gonna be talking. And at this point, I'm gonna turn all this negativity into some iced tea and sip on it and live my life. All right. See we have she referencing the whole like I be making iced tea, but also referencing the fact that like you know people are gonna throw stones at her with the salt, get the salt and whatnot. Y'all hear it? You know what I'm saying? That's a writer right now. <laughs> she know how to write a song. Now, free mind. Hey. 
free of mine. Now, this is good. Like, this is like, I think it is a hit, but I have my favorite, which is the Keys. Something about the Keys Band. I be I could replay that song every day. But Free Mind is also a dope song. Which, Free Mind, it, like, when you hear Free Mind, it's basically, you're trying to navigate in this world and be free of, like, let's say, you know, what you've learned growing up and trying to find it for yourself, so to speak. So, the, the name, the title, is definitely a song, and it speaks to however it can speak to you. <laughs> Play that shit again. Oh, like I'm telling you, you need some time to step away from it all to find yourself. Look at me. <laughs> See, navigating, you know what I'm saying? She said, I really need, I really need to free my mind, huh? You going from here to here to there. I hear her. <laughs> Like, it also goes to say, like, you know, maybe society should, like, you know, there's a whole lot of bullshit that be going on, right? They try to fill your head with. And then sometimes, it's like, if y'all would stop with this bullshit, you would just see. We really all just trying to navigate and make it out. But y'all just be filling it up with some BS. I don't, I don't need all that. And then they be lying. They don't be telling the truth. They be, they be putting the band-aid on it. And then when you rip the band-aid off, you be like, wow, look at all this bullshit I'm seeing. Had you just told me the bullshit from jump, I would've known not to... We're not gonna get into it. This ain't time for it. But she's saying in the goddamn song. One is the joy that you cannot waste. This is the peace that you do be alive. And can I just talk about the album, well, the EP cover? Like, first of all, I like this aesthetic right here with the whole brown yellow gold going on and her turning the back and you see her braids those are probably different type of braids i don't i don't know the, all the names but then you see a little bit of her face but you can't really see her so you're kind of like who, who is she what you about what you about to sing it's gonna be deep because you know of the title but it makes you want to wonder who is she what she got to say she's gone through you know life she's starting to understand the realization of everything and understand in the line she talks about how help me understand why you made the war where we're fighting now you know what i'm saying so it's like you know help me understand where 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 i'm at because like we went from here to here to there and now we're here like you like you caused this you caused this issue let me know what it is after going through everything and realizing you know it may not it's not her fault she had to find herself in order to understand that I'm higher, I'm not a new level, but help me to understand. You know, almost like I'm moving on, but also like, just let me know. Let's be honest with each other. You know, she found herself. She gone now. She ain't doing all that crying no more. She's like, yeah. It's time for me to go. <laughs> and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> In the song Damages, she says that this is the piece that you cannot buy, find the way you cannot see. So a lot of the time she's talking about, you know, damages within her relationship. But also, I like how, again, it speaks true to the people of her country, where they're talking about, you know, fighting for a better future. So, you know what I mean? Like, she she, she, she dipped and dabbled with them, things she talks about, and I like that. It speaks to who she is as an artist and how she cares for the people back here in her country and how herself and how she's gone through relationship struggles and she, how she wants better for herself and her people. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't want to be damaged no more. She's, she's done with the bullshit from, you know, the government back in Nigeria. She's done with the bullshit from her relationship and how she demands better. You know what I'm saying? Look, see how she does that? You hear it? If you don't hear it, then look it up. Now, what I like about this song, it has so many metaphors where it talks about, like, you know, for, like, just the keys and just being free, unlocked, finding yourself. And over the beat, it's the hit. You just be like, okay. Okay, the keys. Alright. Like I like this song. I especially like the music video where it talks it's almost like it's her is it like the desert I would say? It's somewhere. 
you know, real like, it's like real spiritual, real spiritual, real supernatural where it's like her and her tribe, they're coming and they're coming into one and they're coming into their, they're coming into like who they are and their, their, their powers within the music video, which that resonates with people finding who, who they are, whether it's, you know, whether it's in a relationship or finding that like, you know, if you were somewhere toxic, you found yourself and that you are free, found the key to unlock your true self in a way. That's the way I look at it. See what I mean? Like you, you was down, but you remember who you were. You remember whatever God got for you. No one can curse or take away. Now this, this is what I call an album, an EP, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. That is my reaction to Broken Ears by Thames. I think it is a great EP. I think she every song details something that somebody can relate to where you don't have to be an Afrobeat listener, just an R&B listener. I feel like if you just hear her voice anywhere, you be like, who's that? What's that beat? And then what, are oh, she talking about some real stuff right now? Like anybody can relate to it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're in the dark. You need this to get you through something, whether you're in a toxic, relation, a toxic relationship, environment, or you're just in the gutter and you need to find a way out. There's a song in here for you to listen to. Or well, you know, that's all I got to say. That is, you know, the EP. Go ahead and listen to it. Let me know your thoughts. What's your favorite track? I like keys. And yeah, alright, peace. <laughs>